Hi, I'm John from InstaCluster, and today we're going to be talking about the Kubernetes Service Broker and how it can be used in your Kubernetes environment to add tighter coupling between your InstaCluster applications, so for example, Cassandra and Kafka, and your Kubernetes environment applications. So let's begin. Here we have your Kubernetes application running in a Kubernetes cluster. It has a bunch of different applications running in pods. They can be deployed via um, deployments using auto-scaling groups, hidden behind load balancers, all of the stuff that we expect from our Kubernetes environment. Now let's take, for example, your web application. You want it to run and talk to your Apache Kafka cluster. Um, traditionally, what would happen is we would have to manually configure the pod definition to connect to these nodes on the outside of the Kubernetes cluster. That would be a manual process. We provide provisioning APIs and our website, which will give you the connection information that these uh, applications would require to connect. But we don't want to do that manually. We want it to be an automated, seamless thing to take advantage of the Kubernetes environment as it is. So how do we go about doing that? That's where the Kubernetes service broker comes in. And that we can take advantage of that using three relatively simple steps. Um, the first step is to install the Kubernetes service catalog add-on. And then we make a few calls to our APIs to then get our cluster up and running and inside a Kubernetes environment. The first step would be to connect and install the service catalog into your Kubernetes environment. The second step would be to query that catalog and see the list of available services that you might want to use in your Kubernetes environment. Once you have selected one of the applications you'd like to use, it's a simple matter of making a request to create one of those service instances, along with any required information such as parameters, names, and service details. That provisioning will take place on the Insta cluster side of things. And then once that instance is ready, you now have a running instance that is Kubernetes native. It's still running in the Insta cluster environment outside, but, in, but your Kubernetes cluster knows about it natively. The last thing you need to do is create an instance binding to that particular instance for your applications to use. Each web application would have a, could create an instance binding for itself and have a unique set of credentials, login information, etc. And in this way, you can write your pod definitions to use the service binding information stored inside your Kubernetes cluster without ever having to know or be managed outside the Kubernetes environment internally. So in this way, we can see how the Kubernetes service catalog or the service broker has allowed you to tightly integrate your web running applications in Kubernetes with your outside InstaCluster managed service in a seamless way that lessens the time you need to spend focusing on the managed cluster side of things and more time spending configuring your web application. Thank you.